Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laurel. Now, I don't know about you, but I have really tight hips. So I thought today I'm going to put together a really nice hip releasing yoga sequence. I hope you will enjoy it. All you'll need is a mat and perhaps a block. If you don't have a block, don't stress. And I'll see you on your mat, let's go. All right guys, if you wanna come down to a seated position at the top of your mat, obviously you can face the front. I'm just facing this way so you guys can see me. All right, so we're gonna bring our right shin to place in front of our left shin. It's kind of like a cross leg position, it's just our heels aren't underneath our legs. If this is quite uncomfortable for you, you can also sit on a block or a rolled up blanket. Uh, and just make those adjustments. You can always bring your leg a little further forward if you need to. All right, so we're gonna start here targeting the right side of the hip. So when you're ready, we'll just take a breath to start. So just lengthen the spine, take an inhale, roll the shoulders away. And on your exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So just bringing those hands forward, keeping the spine lifted and sinking the body down, feeling that stretch getting into the right side of the hip. Again, taking just this opportunity as we start to slow the breath down, start to take a deeper inhalation and exhalation. So if you can fold a little further forward, we're just getting straight into it today, getting straight into those hips. All right, we're going to ignore my puppy that's just getting onto the mat. Thanks, darling. This is Jane, everybody. All right, we're going to take an inhale, reach the hands over to the left side. And perhaps you stay here, but if you want a little bit of a deeper sensation, we're going to bring the left hand in line with the left hip, and we're going to bring the right arm over top of the right ear and open the chest, look up to the sky. To go even further, we can bring the forearm down to the earth. Take one more breath here, inhale. We're going to reverse that on your exhale, bringing the right hand down and just creeping all the way back to center. Stay for a breath, take an inhale. Exhale, fold. And when you're ready, bring your body back up to seated. Hello, naughty girl. <laughs> All right, from here, we're gonna swap sides. Let's bring the left shin in front of the right shin. From here, let's just lengthen the spine on the inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Perhaps you use a block here to support the head. If you're feeling a little bit of discomfort through the neck, otherwise just sinking down into the earth, allowing the left hip to open and release. And exhale where you are, we'll bring those hands to reach over to the right side. And again, perhaps this is where you stay, otherwise to deepen this position, we will bring the right hand in line with the right hip. Sweep the left arm over the ear, chest opens, and if you can, bring that forearm down. If the sit bone is coming off the mat though, just bring the forearm off, just plant through the fingertips. All right, let's reverse, so hand comes back, the left hand, and creeping on forward. We will sink one last time, going a little deeper. A great way to start this practice to really get into the hip region straight away. No surprises, we're already here. So sending the breath to the hips. Avoid holding any extra tension. Just try to relax and release and let go. All right, from here, creep the hands back up. I'm just gonna make a position adjustment. And you guys will already be here. We're going to bring the hands down and just bring the body into a tabletop position. 
we'll tuck the toes and come into downward dog. It's the first one, so just allow a little bit of movement, perhaps a bend in the knees. Peel those shoulders away, so we're pushing those shoulder blades down the spine. And adding a little pedal, so you can drop the right heel, the left foot and knee bends. And swapping it over. We'll stay for one more breath. Take whatever movement serves you right now. This is your class, whatever you need. And from here, we're gonna bring the right leg just to sweep back, just a little bend through that knee to plant at the top of the mat. Drop the back knee and to come into a low lunge. Gather your thoughts, make those adjustments. <laughs> All right, from here, I want you to tuck the tailbone forward. Take an inhale, sweep the hands to the sky, and we're gonna lean forward. Now grab with the left hand the right wrist, and we're just going to stretch over the right knee while maintaining that tucked tailbone to really open those hip flexors to get into the left side of the body. One more inhale, reach forward. I mean, reach over. <laughs> and exhale, bring the hips back to your half split. Beautiful job, we're gonna come forward, plant the hands, stepping back to downward dog. Stay for a breath, take an inhale. And exhale. From here, let's sweep the left leg, not too high, bend the knee. Coming through to plant at the top of the mat, drop the knee, coming up to that low lunge, tuck the tailbone, sweep the hands up. Right hand grabs right wrist and leaning over. We tend to get really tight hip flexors from being seated all the time. You know, when we're driving, if we're sitting um, at a desk, if we're watching Netflix. <laughs> so this is a really nice stretch to really lengthen and open. Your hip flexors are um, at the front here. In case you don't know anatomy, that's totally fine. <laughs> all right, let's come back to our half split. Just a little counter stretch here. Plant the hands, that heel, that foot comes back to land in downward dog. All right, let's just take a very quick vinyasa. So we're gonna come forward into a high plank. Feel free to drop your knees if you wish and coming down into chaturanga, lowering the chest down and bringing the chest forward. Just a baby cobra, pull those shoulders back. Tuck the toes. Sit back towards the heels and coming back to downward dog. Take an inhale and exhale. From here, looking forward, step to the top of your mat, coming into your forward fold. Grab opposite elbows. We'll add just a little rag doll here, just twisting it out side to side. Again, coming back to the breath. Release the hands down and very slowly coming all the way up to stand. Mountain pose. Make any adjustments. So bring those palms to face forward, shoulders roll back. Keep the spine lifted. Watch that posture, we're not slouching down. Everything lifts to the sky. Inhale, sweep the hands to the sky. Palms come together, landing at the heart. Stay for a breath. Take an inhale. And exhale. Let's do that one more time. Release the hands. Sweep to the sky. Palms draw past the heart this time, coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. We're just going to step back to downward dog. No vinyasa here. So stepping back just for a moment. We're going to lift the right leg. Opening up the hip here so the knee stacks on top of the hip. And just opening up, so we're really drawing that knee towards the sky. Keeping both weight, sorry, the weight in both hands. So don't be leaning over to the left or the right, favoring one side. And from here, we're gonna take some hip circles. So we're gonna bring the knee down to meet the other knee. And then open up. This can feel a little bit awkward, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I always find the downward motion is good, but as soon as we open it back up, it can feel a little bit uh, awkward. 
and that's very normal or it could just be me <laughs> that's totally fine all right extend that leg coming back through bend the knee tiger curl just for a moment and we're going to plant that foot outside the right hand drop the back knee untuck the toes and now we're going to come up into a lizard lunge we're going to roll onto the edge of the right foot so the pinky toe edge the right hand is going to touch the knee just to allow a little bit more opening so just gently push the knee away and opening the chest looking up to the sky taking a breath here inhale and exhale now perhaps uh, you just need a little gentle push don't be pushing the knee too far or maybe you don't need any at all just listen to your body and do whatever you need in this moment I find uh, I've got very tight hip, flex, hip flexors, so this can be quite challenging. So again, coming back to the breath. On your exhale, we're gonna just bring the torso to center forward, and we're going to bring our weight onto the forearms. Again, while maintaining that roll out on the uh, right foot. Again, this is where that block comes in handy, so perhaps you bring your forearms to the block. Coming back to the breath, noticing any resistance coming up. Perhaps you're looking at the time on the video already. You want to duck out. That's very normal. This is where the real practice of yoga comes in. Just focusing on the here and now. Coming back to the breath. We'll stay for one more. Inhale. Stay for the full exhale. If you have a block, gently come back to the hands, bring the block out the way. We're going to come back to that half split. So just heel toe that foot to the center, tuck that back toe if you need. Again, just a nice counter stretch um, to release that opening through the hip. All right, coming forward, let's plant the hands, coming back to your downward facing dog. Taking those deep inhales and exhales to support the body, the blood flow, and the postures. All right, let's bring that left leg to sweep up. Remember that heel comes towards the glute, knee stacking over the heel, that knee reaches for the sky. Stay for a moment. Just check where your weight is distributed in those hands. So we want an even balance. Get ready for three circles. The knee draws down towards the right knee and sweeps open to draw a circle with the knee. So again, come down, big circle for two. And third one, coming down and open. Extend the left leg, coming through for a tiger curl just for a moment, knee to nose and drop that left foot outside of the left hand, drop the knee, and here we are back in our lizard lunge. All right, so we're gonna plant through the right hand. Now remember, left hand comes to left knee just to push the knee away. Opening the chest, looking up towards the sky. If this is too much, you can just stay here, perhaps both hands land. You can make whatever adjustments you need, whatever serves you well, please do so. You're better off making those adjustments so it feels a little better and you'll also stay with me for the rest of this video. It's not too long, so hang in there. All right, from here we'll come back to that forward fold, bring the forearms down if you can, otherwise put the block under the forearms for a little bit of elevation. I'm going to stay quiet through this one if you want to close the eyes down. Come back to the breath. Let's go one more. Inhale. And exhale, bring the hands back up very slowly and heel toe that foot to the center and coming back to our half split. 
Whew. That feels really nice. I hope you're enjoying that as well at your end. Plant the hands, step back to our last downward dog. All right, we'll stay for a few breaths since it's our last one here. Again, taking the opportunity to add whatever movement you feel you need. Otherwise, you can stay in a strong, still downward dog. If you find in your downward dogs you've got a rounded posture, just lift the hips, bend the knees, and try and bring the tummy towards the thighs. Peel the shoulders away. All right, from here, the right leg lifts to the sky. Bend through the knee. Let's do one last tiger curl here. And we're gonna drop that leg down to come into our pigeon. So with your pigeon, what you can do if you've still got your block, or if you had one in the first place, you can just sit there under the right hip for a little extra support. Otherwise, ditch the block if you don't need it. Center the body so we're not rolling to one side. Bring those hands in front, peel the shoulders back. Let's take an inhale and exhale, fold. Some long holds here towards the end of this class. So I'm gonna do minimal cueing again, just taking the opportunity to check in with yourself and see how you're doing. Coming back to the breath and just letting those thoughts pass by. Avoiding any dialogue, any to-do list, it'll all be there when we're finished. Releasing tension if you're holding any tension in that right hip. Let's try and let go. Let's do one more breath here, inhale, and stay for the exhale. Bring the body upright, let's plant those hands. This time we'll just step back to a plank, and we will swap sides. So again, keeping the weight centered so we're not rolling out to the left glute or sit bones. Straighten the spine, peel the shoulders back before we come down, take your inhale. And on your exhale, come all the way down, if you can, creating perhaps a pillow with the forearms. Observing the side of the body in comparison to the right side. Using the breath to release and let go of any holding or tension to the left hip. One more inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, we will come all the way back up. Let's just sit over to the left side. We're gonna swing the legs out in front. And the soles of the feet come together for our last posture before Shavasana. This is our Supta Baddha Konasana. I love saying that one. I feel like the Sanskrit terms can be quite tricky to remember, but that one just it has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I always remember that one. All right, let's bring our hands to our ankles. The forearms come to touch the uh, legs. So when we fold forward, we're able to gently press the legs a little further down to the earth. Again, try avoid rounding, think lengthening coming forward. Feel free to close the eyes down if you wish. Taking this last little opportunity to open and release and create those happy hips to guide us through our everyday life.
The exhale is an opportunity to go a little deeper, fold a little further forward. And one more, inhale. And exhale, slowly rise. Bring the legs together. Before we come down, just let's add a little window wiper move <laughs> to the legs. Again, you'll feel that in the hips, it just sort of shakes everything out. Rinses everything out before we come down. All right, when you're ready, make those adjustments to extend the legs and come all the way down into Shavasana. If you wish to have the soles of the feet together to close out your practice, please do so. Otherwise, full extension, whatever you need is perfect. Feel free to stay here as long as you need today, guys. Thank you so much for practicing, and I hope to see you here on the mat soon. Namaste.